Hi friends, this is Deborah. Thank you so much for joining me for a quick little decor haul as well as two fun projects that I'm going to be working on this week that I want to show you. And as always, I thank you all from the bottom of my heart for all the love and support you show for my channel. You're all just the absolute best. So now let's get into the video. The first item of my weekend haul was this beautiful ceramic hen that I purchased for $30 at Still Good Consignments here in Houston. She's great quality and made by Noble Excellence, and you can bet she'll be gracing one of my upcoming fall vignettes this year. I can hardly wait. The second item is this large fleur-de-lis plaque that I scored at Goodwill for only $3.99. It's made of heavy poly resin and will most likely be painting it in a color yet to be determined. Either way, it's, it's just a beautiful piece to work with, I think. And next up, what we have here is a super cute and rustic wooden little sunflower sign with a rope hanger on the top. I found it at Granny's Antiques in Tomball, Texas for just $5, and I think it'll just be a fun little accent to add into my fall decor. Okay, here we have a small white iron chippy and rusty cloche that has a fleur-de-lis on top, which I purchased at the Rain Tree Marketplace here in Houston for $12.99. I love the small size of this one, as I already have three large ones that I use in my garden, and one of them I use in my living room. They're a lot of fun to work with in your decor, as well as the garden. And who doesn't love wax melts? Oh my goodness, I found these wax melts in the crisp cotton scent at Still Good Consignments, the place where I bought the roost, or the hen, excuse me. And I have to tell you, they smell fabulous. They were $6.50 for the package of six and are highly scented, so you only need to use one at a time. Love it. Next up is this wonderful sage green lopsided pumpkin that I found at Hobby Lobby. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just absolutely love this one. I love the shape of it, the color and everything, and I can hardly wait to use it in my fall decor. It was $29.99, but I purchased it on sale at 40% off, which really helped. Okay, sweet friends. Here I'm going to be showing you three items that I purchased to create a Mackenzie Childs inspired wreath hanger featured in the bottom left of the screen. I love it, but it's $42, so what did I do? I went to Hobby Lobby and purchased the hanger and the oval wooden cutouts, and then I purchased the round flat beads to go around the front base edge at um, the Dollar Tree. So I chose an oval shape as opposed to the round one featured in the Mackenzie Childs photo for my wreath hanger. I'll be painting it in the courtly check pattern and the beads will be in gold. And I wanted to also just mention when I'm doing my wreath hanger and my version of the Mackenzie Childs one, I'm going to be leaving the black wreath hanger in black paint just because I want it to be just a little bit different. But I may edge it in the gold paint. A couple of weeks ago, my family and I were antique shopping in the Heights area of Houston when my niece Kehlani saw a pair of beautiful white Chippendale chairs that she loved, but they were $695 for the pair. Ouch. So I told her, we'll find you a pair of Chippendale chairs that I can make over for you at a minuscule fraction of that price. So I searched and found this pair on Facebook Marketplace for $50. So now I'm gonna paint them in chiffon cream, which is Kehlani's choice to go in her bedroom. And here in this footage, I'm showing you all the chairs that we saw at the antique store for $695 for the pair, featured here on the bottom left of the screen along with the ones we purchased for $50 for the pair on Facebook Marketplace. I think these are going to turn out great. What do you think? Alrighty, my lovelies, that's it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll be back on Friday with more decorating fun here in Cottage to Courtyard. Until then, take care, you all. Bye-bye.